today's seed of knowledge, baby cues. How your infant communicates with you. Infants communicate through their facial expressions, body language, and sounds like cooing, babbling, and crying. Infants are born hardwired to seek connection. We know they cannot exist alone in the world. They depend on others for just about everything feeding, diapering, protection, and care. But it's not just about meeting their needs. It's about creating a bond, a trusting relationship of give and take. If a primary caregiver is responsive meeting their infant's needs, providing support and positive interactions, the baby learns that they can rely on their caregiver, that their needs are important, and that they are important. You always hear the saying, that too much holding or giving into crying will spoil a baby. But I'm here to tell you that's not true. You can't spoil an infant. Their behaviors are telling you what they need. And responding sensitively to those behaviors is creating trust and connection so that your baby's environment becomes predictable and they feel safe. Trust and safety are key. When your child feels secure, they will become a more regulated child, which means less upset feelings, less disengagement, and maybe even less crying. An infant needs a caregiver's help to comfort them and help them figure out what they want and need. So why is this important? Because how you respond to your infant is also going to influence how they see themselves, other people, and the world. It becomes a lens with which to see their experiences, also known as a core belief. How can we ensure that our child develops positive core beliefs? One way is responding sensitively to their cues. Next, we're going to review some common cues and what you can do to support your child. Cues broken down. The go sign bright eyes, looking at you, smiling, looking at something, and reaching. These signs say, I'm ready to engage, I'm having fun, I'm interested. What to do? Talk to the infant and use your tone, facial expressions, and body language to share in their enjoyment. Notice them and what they're doing, match their energy. The yield signs, putting a hand to their face or body, looking away, shrugging shoulders. These signs say, I need a break. I'm starting to get overstimulated. I'm unsure. I don't know what to do. What you can do is change the tone or energy of the activity or do something else. Talk to your infant about how they might be feeling even if they can't understand your words, they will pick up on your tone, facial expression, and body language. The stop signs. If they move away or turn completely away, have jerky movements, pound or throw, push away, and start crying. These say, I don't want to do this anymore. I need a change. I'm overstimulated. I'm frustrated and I need some space. What you can do. Monitor if your child comes back and continues, or if not, offer another choice. Talk to your child about their feelings using your tone and facial expression to show concern or sympathy. Or give them some space by just existing with them in the moment and keeping yourself regulated with deep breaths or counting to 10. So let's water that seed. Infants communicate through facial expressions, body language, and sounds. Infants depend on their caregivers for just about everything. Consistently responding sensitively and meeting your baby's needs will create a positive trusting relationship. Trust and safety are crucial. The more secure your baby feels, the more regulated they'll become. A core belief is how an infant sees themselves. 
and the world around them. Go signs are signs that say I'm ready to interact and engage. Yield signs say I'm not sure about this, I might need a change. Stop signs say I don't want to do this anymore, I'm frustrated and I need some space. Let us know in the comments below how you respond sensitively to the infant in your care. Until next time.